Hi, it's Johnson from johnsonyip.com. So I'm going to talk about some free anti-malware and spyware scanners for Windows. malware bytes, which are free. And it could do a quick scan, full scan, and uh, it removed uh, malicious software from your system. Yeah. So the free version could detect and remove files, do quick scans, and you could upda update it daily if you like. And it support multiple languages, but it doesn't have the free real-time protection module, which is in the full version, or automatic malicious site protection, or scanner and update schedule, or customer service in the free version. But it works pretty well. Yeah. And you can manually update it. And you can see the quarantine for stuff you. It's like a recycle bin, I guess. Yeah. And there's logs which you can open, like so. So it takes about four minutes and thirty-five seconds to scan, and it gives you a detailed log. You got to add an ignore list to tell the scanner to ignore certain files. And you could change the settings to scan certain things. And they also come with tools like collect information, which you could make a log with a similar to this one that tells you about your computer so I can also delete files which are locked so I'm going to delete my log since I don't need it anymore and yes so the next one I talk about is Super Anti-Spyware Free Edition. It could scan your computer, it could do a quick, complete, and custom scan of your drive. You couldn't schedule it like the paid version, but you could update it manually. So there's a quarantine preferences. So yeah, you could set these. And there's the scanning. And it's there's no real time protection. There's hijack protection. Yeah. Uh, I'll change it. And uh, statistics and logs. And there's the uh, repair tools for repairing stuff that spyware break breaks, yeah. Like all these things. And there's no automatic updates for the free version. But you could check for update when the application starts and there's the update reminder yeah. and there isn't a real time protection I'll change it so I'm going to talk about spyware terminator I'll be back <laughs> so yeah there's a schedule scan, real-time protection, and 
automatic updates, which is great for free product. And you can scan fast foam custom and they scan reports which you could view. There's like stuff that I found and unknown SW and the scan reports of all the stuff on the, the computer for analysis. Yeah. There's also ignore list quarantine updates. And there's a real time protection so you could and all these stuff. And there's also internet security where you could count for cookies that are bad or favorites and there's also immunize function. And there are tools for doing stuff like restoring default settings and uh, analyze a file to see who makes it and uh, remove lock file which is similar to malware fights file assassin and you could change the settings Yes, and schedule update schedule. and there's also a toolbar which you could set the toolbar for Internet Explorer and Firefox for seeing if the website is safe or not for updates and scan recover and you can analyze file sets and a lot of stuff and you can schedule a scan to see when you want to scan something and or cookies file extensions And there's also a lot of tools like view report, which is similar to hijack this. So yeah, it gives you details about your computer. So there's a file shredder which you could use to shred it. file. So I'm going to look for something else. And you could pick the number of times you want to shred it. And then it says done. Yeah. And there's the resident shield. With there's IE tweaks that lock host files that read only against hijacks. And you can also check for registry problems. And there's a system startup thing where you could check and uh, uncheck stuff. Yeah. And there's also install info which you could use to remove certain files I mean entries in the add remove programs and there's also WinSock LSP yeah. thanks for watching and rate, comment subscribe and uh, visit my website at johnsonyup.com and have a nice day. Bye.